this backward a little bit. This doesn't know how to handle things if page is not in the URL already. So let me prove this by just saying page is equal to one and click there. Let me remove the rest of this garbage. Let's see if this works out. Ah, and as you can see, it's working out here just fine, right? Yeah. Okay, so it just doesn't know how to handle things if the page is not already in the link there. So what I will do is at this point, uh, what I can do is put a variable something like uh, page found so you can do this uh, in many ways all i want to do here is to know whether uh, the variable page was actually in the url if it wasn't then we can just add it to the very end so i will say found is equal to false like this okay so we know that the question mark will always be there so that's good to know so let me copy that and let me come here so key is equal to page this means page was actually found so let's put true over here and let's come here as well do the same thing page was found let's put true and great so now here all we need to do is do an if statement and say if a page found Just like that, if page found. Or we can just say if not page found. So if it was found, we don't really need to do anything. But if it wasn't found, then we can add to these guys. So, yeah. So what I can do is go down here. Put this here instead. So we'll set these guys to some uh, default value, which is already there. But if we notice that page was not found, then we change this. So I'm going to change this to uh, page next, whatever whatever the link is in here at this moment. And I'm just going to concatenate and I will say, and page is equal to one, like so. Okay, so if page was not found, we're assuming that this is page one. So here we're just going to say two, and this will remain on page one. Page is equal to two, next page, page. Okay, I think this uh, should suffice. So let me remove that and just put it there. Let's go down here, previous page, page one, next page, page two. Okay, things are looking great. And... One moment here. Okay, so when when I go back to profile.php, uh, actually it's inside, uh, let me go close functions.php. Why did I close the post class? Post class. Where we're getting our posts here. That's what I'm looking for, get posts. So I had put three here as a limit. So let's see. Uh, if that's adhering. Oh, this is something else. So let's go to prof um, our own profile here. So this is three. Okay, this is good. So now I'll go to index of PHP where I can instead, uh, let me cut this actually, cut that. I want to bring it very close to this section right here. So that when I want to copy this, I can copy that together with it. So I'll copy this here. Go to index.php. Actually, profile.php. I want to put some pagination as well down here. So down, down she goes. Actually, we only need the pagination if we are on the profile default there. So let's go there, profile unders underscore content default. This is where the posts are shown. 
So right after this, let's put that down like so. And we need to know what PG is, otherwise we get an error. So let me copy that, save, come back here to profile, no, nope. profile content down there and put it there. It should work. Great. So we have pagination as well here. So let's give it a spin. Click. Okay. That's page two right there. Go back. This is page one. So let me try and where is this um, host.php? I told it to only show three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Let's put it at one just to be sure we can move through multiple pages. So limit one. So there's one. I click next, next post, another post, another post, no more posts, back, back, back. Okay, so you get the picture, it's working. So let's put 10 there so that we can have 10 posts, same thing. So we can use this uh, very technique to deal with comments when there's too many comments here. So we are going to do exactly that. So since we already created the necessary functions, uh, this is going to be easy peasy. So this is a single post of PHP. So that's where we are headed. So let me come back here and go to single post of PHP. Where are you, man? Single post. Okay, there we go. So this is the part where we are looping through our comments. So just after the comments right here, we can paginate. So let's copy our pagination from either index.php or uh, sing default view.php. So let me copy from index.php, copy that, go to single post and add it there. Awesomeness. So let me remove the word wrap and come back to index.php, get this, uh, get current URL, single post. This is the advantage of doing things in function uh, function type. So I just need to copy that one line and it copies the whole code that is required. So, and uh, this should actually work. So let's see how it look like. So we have next page and previous page. Pretty awesome. The only thing is we need uh, this get comments to understand that we need to use our uh, top section there. So to do that, we're going back to post.php class and exactly what we did here. So as you can see, we copy, we're going to copy all this here because we need this stuff. And so let's go to get comments and simply paste. Okay, so now we are using our limits and our offset. So then I will go and copy. Let me do oh this annoying word wrap. So I'm going to say limit, limit, offset, offset. So I'm going to copy that and bring it right here and paste. And that's it. We are done with our pagination. So now we need 10 comments, but I want to see just two comments at a time. How many comments are here? Three. So let me just see two. I'll put that two there. So I'm seeing two now. If I click next, I'll see the third one. And so uh, it goes. So let me undo to 10, 10 comments at a time. So we are done with uh, comment pagination. Let's add one more comment here. Uh, actually, there's no need because this is not about the comments. So let me go back to my uh, profile there. Okay, so looking great. We can paginate now and we can also paginate uh, at the index page there. Okay, great. So let's do something else in the next video.